As more news comes out about the worst civilian disaster in Israel's history with at least 45 people killed, there are many likely wondering, what was this event with over 100,000 people gathered in Meron? And why is it so significant for so many people? Meron is a tiny town in the north of Israel that once a year, hundreds of thousands of Jews go to as a pilgrimage site on Lagba Omer. Lagba Omer is a holiday that literally translates to the 33rd day of the Omer, which is a period counting up from Passover to the Jewish holiday of Shavuot. During this period, many Jews won't get married, shave, or listen to live music in honor of the 24,000 people who died in the second century, students of one of the most illustrious sages, Rabbi Akiva. Now, Lagba Omer, the 33rd day, takes this period from a time of mourning to one of celebration, celebrating a few things. The big one here being the yort site, the anniversary of the death of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, who lived in the second century. Shimon Bar Yochai was a massive figure in the Talmud, and he is traditionally credited with authoring the Zohar, the key text in Kabbalah. Before he died, he requested his students mark the anniversary of his death with a day of rejoicing. And now it's a long-standing tradition to do that by heading to Meron each year. Longer than we can say, here's a picture from the 1920s of this celebration, and there's clear evidence of this pilgrimage going back all the way to at least the 14th century, and it undoubtedly had started quite a bit before that. It's interesting to note that many, if not most Jews outside of Israel, don't think of Lagba Omer as all that major of a holiday. But in Israel, the atmosphere of Lagba Omer can be felt throughout the country. You'll find bonfires, which are said to represent the signal fires of Bar Kokhba, a figure who led a movement to win Israel back in the second century. And you'll find barbecues, singing, and lots of celebrations. In Meron, beside his tomb, they light massive bonfires, both to represent Bar Kokhba's signal fires and also the immense light that Shimon Bar Yochai introduced into the world through his mystical teachings. Last year, because of coronavirus, the event was much smaller. And now with vaccinations far more prevalent throughout Israel, this was the first time a large group like this was allowed to gather. Over 100,000 people went. It was a lot of people in a small space. Noam Weissman, the head of content here at Unpacked, went to it back in 2004 just one of the millions who this experience has impacted. It was like a 48 hour rock concert. We went there for the weekend and it was a profoundly religious experience such that I've never had in my life before. People were sharing meals with each other, having conversations, praying together, singing together, being in nature together. Some looked like each other, some looked very different from one another. It really felt like one of the most important Jewish moments of my life. It's a memory I will always have, and I carry it with me throughout my life. It's hard facing that this time of joy was turned into a period of darkness. It's been very difficult. Israel has rallied with support and help. Hatzalah's communication trailer called in units from across Israel. Air Force helicopters and IDF Unit 669 came and helped with the evacuation of the wounded. Blood donations poured in from throughout the country. This showcased Israeli solidarity at its best. When it really counted, Israelis came together regardless of politics or religion. Here are Arab residents of a neighboring town close to Meron setting up a refresh station. And here are some young people in Tel Aviv donating blood. Rabbi Joseph B. Soloveitchik, in confronting why do bad things happen to good people, once said, We ask neither about the cause of evil nor about its purpose, but rather about how it might be mended and elevated. Our hearts go out to all of the families and communities and friends of everyone who died and are wounded. If you wish to donate or want help dealing with this trauma, there's a link below with a collection of resources.